Hey, what's up, YouTube? Matt from the Gold Bros. Coming to you guys in the video today. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a viewer requested video, and I'm going to be talking about how I deal with nerves, um, entering a new level, or the first game of the season. Um, you know, when you go to your first game of the season, your first real game, um, I think everyone has nerves. You know, even when you um, listen to pros or, you know, Division One college athletes, they do talk about how they're still like that butterfly, and I think everyone has that. Um, that to me means you care. Um, that's that's how I've always done it. You know, some guys, even on my team, like, yeah, I, I don't feel butterflies, blah, 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 yeah. You know, whatever, whatever you say. You know, if you don't, then you don't. Good for you, but I always do. Um, I just, you know, when you're entering a new level, I could definitely see how, you know, being, you know, nervous is understandable. Um, you know, my first, you know, varsity game for football, my first varsity game for baseball, my first college um, at bats, starts, stuff like that. It's definitely, um, you know, a nerve-wracking experience. Um, my biggest thing is preparation. Um, before that, a lot of, leads to a lot of, you know, success on the field, stuff like that. Um, before a game, I like to listen to music. That's something that I like to do that calms me. Um, I'm not one of those guys that you're going to see take the headphones out on the field. Um, our coach doesn't care if you do that, but um, that's not something I'm a huge fan of. I just talk to the guys. You like to, you know, be a part of the team. Um, there's guys like Marco who won't talk um, at all. Marco doesn't like to listen to music, and he doesn't really talk to anyone before a game, especially when he's pitching. Um, he's just like a mute before a game. He likes to just sink in his zone and then get out there. Um, you know, I'll talk. I'll, I'll mess around a little bit, but for the most part, I like to just listen to my music ahead of time. Um, I'll talk to the pitcher a little bit. Um, you know, if I'm catching, if not, you know, I mess around with some guys on the infield. Try to keep things light. Um, you know, if you're making your first start on varsity this year, you know, this off season, you have a good off season, and uh, you get called up, or you know, you're an older guy getting ready for a shot. Um, first game, don't make too much of the situation. It's just the first game. If you go 0 for 4 the first game, you're not going to get sent down. You know, most likely you're not going to get sent down. Coaches are going to give you a little leeway. Baseball is a game of failure. Remember, if you, you fail 7 out of 10 times, you're a Hall of Famer. So that's how I always like you know tell myself, try not to make the situation too big. Um, one of my tips is be aggressive. Um, I, I know some coaches don't really preach that, but that's something that mine does. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen me hit, but um, if you haven't, I got some videos in there in the back. Um, if not, I have some on Instagram. Um, I do hit very aggressively. I hit like a, a Donaldson trumbo mix hit with a leg kick and all my weights going forward like green light hitting very aggressive. So to me fastballs are money. That's what I'm going for. I'm not trying to hit the off speed. So usually especially early in the season guys don't have their breaking ball especially for where we are it's cold. So you know those first couple games guys don't always have their best off speed. So you know most of the time they'll rely on their fastball because you know, they can't get a grip or they haven't practiced it as much. Um, so that's my big thing is be aggressive. Um, that usually, you know, will one of two things is going to happen. You're going to hit the ball or you're not. Uh, you know, if you hit it and you get a hit, great. That definitely gets rid of the nerves. If not, you know, you make it out, you know, on to the next at bat. Um, when you get called up to a new level, have short-term memory. Um, you know, my first time I got called up to varsity, didn't have great success early. Um definitely took me a little while it was a lot for me being up on varsity at a young age um for baseball and football i was a sophomore on varsity um for me the hardest part was catching at that sophomore um not necessarily physically the catching it was the mental side behind the catching um you know pitch calling stuff like that you know getting used to runners scouting reports stuff like that so for me to read all that and you know understand it retain all of it it definitely took a toll on me hitting in my first part of the season. You know, once I got a hold of all of the off the field stuff, you know what I mean? Like you know, doing all that kind of stuff, it really paid off for me long term with the hitting. You know, like obviously I, I'm playing college ball right now, so you know I, I had a good high school career. Um, so that's definitely was always something to me that was a little tough. So if you're a younger catcher, uh, first time up in varsity, I don't know how you guys do it. We do scouting reports, stuff like that. Um, most of the time we get to call most of our own game. Um, when I was a sophomore, I was calling pitches for my coach and then junior and senior, I got to call my own game, which was really nice. Something I like to do a lot, uh, is call my own game. I'm like, a 
a gym rat, like shit like that. Like, so I like to look at scouting reports and stuff like that. I remember a lot of the bats from a lot of guys, especially if you do something to stick out to me, like you're a good hitter. I will remember you. I'll know what you like. I know what you don't like. So I like to call my own game. Um, as far as like, you know, first college of bat, stuff like that. Uh, my first college bat was a double, so I can't really talk too much about that. But, uh, you know, just have fun. It's just the game, guys. You know, it might seem like more than that, but at the end of the day, you know, it's just a game. Just have fun with it. Uh, you know, first experience, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, first game isn't going to mean the whole season. Uh, as far as you at the plate, you know, Marco is funny. We joke Marco's leadoff hitter last year went 0 for 4 the first game, and then I think he batted like 385 on the season or something. So you're telling me like if his coach would have been like, oh, just get, he was 0 for 4, we're pulling him, you know, we're sending him back down, and then, you know, we would have missed all that production. So, you know, just stay focused up there, relax, and have fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys want like more stories or videos like this, uh, we could definitely do that. You got to give me some ideas. Um, I have a couple on my own lined up right now. Uh, we're going to have some different stuff. I'm going to have a protein supplement thing coming in soon from a company that we're going to be partnered up with. Uh, so you guys can um, learn about them and all that kind of good stuff. If you're serious about your training in the off season, you know, you're definitely going to need protein. You're going to need other supplements. So um, I'm going to give you guys a great source for that. I'm going to be trying it out myself and uh, seeing how all that goes. Um, some other stuff, you know, coming out soon, maybe some vlog stuff, maybe some day in the life stuff. Um, you know, please drop some comments what you guys want to see. We do want this, excuse me, channel to keep getting bigger and bigger. Seems like we're doing a pretty good job of that lately. You know, even just getting slightly away from the baseball stuff. Um, you know, it's still always going to be baseball related. Um, someone asked me to do a video about Baseball Pro 16. Uh, if you made it this one in the video, you'll hear it. Um, I don't really have any comments about it. Um, maybe I will make a whole video about it. I don't know. Maybe I will. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to make a whole video about it. You guys, you guys would like to see that, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, comment, like, subscribe, always drop some video ideas and then until next time, have a good day.